And for more, we want to turn to Democratic strategist Kevin Chavis. He's managing partner for the Chavis Group and former president of the D.C. Young Democrats. And we're also joined by Nan Hayworth, former Republican congresswoman for New York and part of the Independent Women's Forum. We thank you both so much for being here. And, and listen, before we launch into it, because we do have a, a lot to unpack and a lot that we want to discuss here, I we first want to just play a quick soundbite from earlier, not too long ago, Senate Majority Leader Mitch McConnell, who until today had been silent on the issue. Let's listen. Well, the president's not a racist. The president's not a racist. And I think the tone of all of this is not good for the country. But it's coming from all different ideological points of view. That's the point. Uh, to single out any segment of this, I think, is a mistake. And then things got a little wacky after that. Then you had a CNN reporter who had asked Majority Leader McConnell uh, if it would be racist to suggest that his immigrant wife go back to her country of origin. And, and in this case, talking about Transportation Secretary Elaine Chao, who, of course, uh, was a naturalized citizen, came here very young from Taiwan. Uh, so, you know, what did you think of the remarks and, and, and the way everything has just spiraled out of control since then? We'll start with you, Nan. Uh, well, what the president was calling for, Derek, and this is, uh, and Derek, this is what we have to focus on. The president is calling for everyone in Congress to participate in solutions for the many problems that we face together as Americans. Uh, and particularly, you know, there have been a lot of uh, vivid events uh, recently, uh, politicized events at the border. Uh, you know, we need to support our Customs and Border Patrol. They are doing their best. Uh, there's been a lot of disinformation. Uh, the squad has been responsible for a fair amount of that dissemination, of that polarization. And what the president is calling for and what the president is calling them uh, out on, uh, in a sense, is, look, we need all together to work on solutions. That's the fundamental message here, and that's something everyone can embrace. Well, but the president is also sending certain messages on Twitter that the Democrats can't just live with, um, you know, to their point. Kevin, you know, some lawmakers like uh, Senator Marco Rubio say today that it was just about four months ago when Democrats, uh, they refused to vote on a resolution that condemned uh, remarks by Ilhan Omar alleging that Jews are not loyal Americans. Americans in, in this country. And now they have no problem voting on a resolution which labels the president as racist. It is a double standard here. Well, I would say that the president has established a, a record of taking these types of steps and saying these abhorrent things that even members on his side of the aisle have had to rebuke. Um, yes, Ilhan Omar has said some things that uh, are not good, and she should have apologized for some of her statements. But the president continues to try to divide Americans instead of trying to bring them together. I mean, with all due respect to my, my colleague, Ms. Hayworth, I mean, the, what she just described as his message, I'm sorry, I didn't see that come through with any of the tweets he that he mentioned. So maybe she should be tweeting for him because what he seemed to say was that, hey, these four minority young women, um, the two first openly, including the two first openly Islamic members of Congress, should go back to their countries. Now, he did say they can come back after leaving, but my thing is he only uses this type of rhetoric where he says that people should leave and go back to their country when he's referring to minorities. He has detractors on his side of the aisle, but he never says, you know, you should go back to your country. And when you view it right. in light of other things he's done, like the birtherism Kevin. movement against Obama, he, he even suggested Kamala Harris wasn't from here. It's just uh, too much. Very quickly, listen, a number of people supporting the president here saying that he was, his tweets were not racist, that he was just making a point that if you don't like America and you're anti-American, then get out. So if, we, if he wasn't directing this towards minority lawmakers, do you think, yes or no, that, that this would be an issue? We'd be talking about this right now. Nan? Uh, 
Eric, I think it's, you know, it, it's a, a, a time of much uh, passion and there are deep divisions uh, that uh, we see all across the, mm -hmm. uh, the, the country and in the Democratic Party among Republicans. The president is primarily saying we need to have solutions. You need to put your oar in the water. You know, don't fight right. us on this. Don't fight we us on this. We have to take the oar out we of the water We have to leave right it now. there. All right, Nan Hayworth, Kevin Chavis, thank you so much.